Hello and welcome to Pavli Connect. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Stripe Webhook for a particular product inside Pavli Connect. So as we all know, by setting up Stripe Webhook, we can get the payment details of all the products inside Pavli Connect by setting or selecting Stripe in the trigger window. But what if you want to set up an automation workflow inside Pavli Connect for a particular product? You just want to send some, for example, a WhatsApp confirmation message when a customer buys a particular product only. You don't want to set up the automation workflow for rest of the product. Now, how you can do that, how you can set up automation for a particular product for the Stripe payments, let me show you. So here I have created a workflow and in this workflow, we are going to select Stripe as a trigger application. So let's select Stripe over here. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select new charge as the trigger event. Now here, Pavli Connect has given us the webhook URL. So we will just copy this webhook URL from here and we are going to add this webhook URL in our Stripe account. So this is our Stripe account. Let's go to developers and you all know what is the procedure to add a webhook URL. Then just click on this add an endpoint. Then let's paste the endpoint over here and then let's select the event as under charge, charge.succeed. So here this is the event. Click on add event and click on add endpoint. So in this way, we have successfully added a webhook URL in our Stripe account. And by adding this webhook URL, we have selected an event as charge.succeed. Now this means guys, whenever we are going to receive a new payment on our Stripe account, the details of that payment will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So we are going to get the details or payment of all the products which we have created in Stripe. So first we are going to do it and to ensure that we set up an automation workflow or our automation workflow for continues further while we receive the payment for a particular product, what we are going to do, we are going to set up a filter in this automation workflow in the next step. So first we are going to capture a payment of a product and then after that we are going to set up a filter that if we get the payment for that particular product or of that particular amount, then only this automation workflow will be continued further. If not, this automation workflow will not be continued further. Now here guys, in this way, you might be getting the response of all the payments from your Stripe account inside Public Connect, but your automation workflow will be continued only if the filter condition is fulfilled. So in this way, we can set up automation workflow for some particular products inside Public Connect. So let's do it. Let's go to the payment section and make a payment and capture a response. So here I have a payment link of this PHP course for beginners. Let's copy this link from here. Go to a new tab and paste it over here. Now after pasting this payment link, let's enter the details of a dummy user. For example, this is the name of the user or email address of the user. Now the mobile number. Then let's add the card information. CVV. Name on card, for example, dummy user. This is the name and country is India. Click on subscribe. So just now we are just making a test payment, a dummy payment on our Stripe payment page. Now suppose guys, this is the only product subscribe to PHP course for business. So this is the only product for which I want to set up the automation workflow and that too for this particular amount. Now after this, in our public connect workflow, we can see that we have also received the response for the same payment. So we have made the test payment and you can see the same details of the payment as well. When we will scroll down, we will see the details of the customer who made the payment and all. And at last, here we have an response named as data object amount. So guys, we are going to use the amount of the payment as a condition. Now let's suppose all you have multiple products and all the products have different pricing. So on the basis of pricing, you can set up a condition in your public connect workflow that if the total amount of the payment is equals to this much, for example, if the total amount of the payment is equals to this, then only this automation workflow should be continued. Now here guys, there's also one catch that we made a payment of 4,999 rupees. But in response here, you can see that we have two extra zeros with it. So basically this amount is like 4,99,900. Now this is because while sending the data, Stripe does not suppose the decimal value. That is why it has eliminated the decimal and it has automatically added the last two zeros with it as well. So using number formatter, you can remove these zeros or you can set up the filter conditions with these two zeros as well. Now guys, here to add this kind of condition, you just have to make sure that all of your Stripe products have different price. So guys, after ensuring that, you can add a filter condition on the basis of price over here. 
And to add the filter condition, what you have to do, you just have to scroll down, come to our action window, and here in choose app, search for filter. Just select filter over here. And then in select label from the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Stripe of a new payment can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, just scroll down and select this response of object amount. Just select it, add the filter type as equals to and enter the value, the amount of the product like 4,999 was the amount. So we have added it. And because it is also sending two extra zeros, so we are going to enter the exact same amount. And then just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here it is showing us a response that is this condition is true. Now because when the response which we have received from Stripe has a payment of amount this the for the same amount which we have added this filter condition for the same value, that is why this is showing us the condition is true. And in this case, this automation workflow will be continued further. If we get a response for some different amount, then in that case, this automation workflow will not be continued further. So on the basis of price, basically you can set up this kind of conditions or you can set up Stripe automation workflows or Stripe webhooks for a particular product and set up an automation workflow for a particular product in your Stripe account. Now guys, after this, let's test this automation. So we have added a condition for this amount, for this value, basically 4,999 rupees with the two extra zeros in this way without the decimal. Now let's make a payment for some other amount in our Stripe account. So we'll go to Stripe section, go to payment links. And here guys, you can see that I have a product, for example, this spoken English notes of 2000 rupees. Let's copy the link of this product, go to a new tab and paste it over here. Then after this, let's add the details of a new user. For example, this is the email address. This is the mobile number. And then let's add the test card details. The name is, for example, test Pabli. This is the name and this is the country. Click on pay. So just now we are making another payment and this time the amount of payment is 2000 rupees. So we have added a filter condition for this particular amount, but this time we have made the payment or received a payment for some other product with this amount. And after this, we will see that the automation workflow, the response which we get in Pavli Connect, this automation will trigger, but this workflow will be stopped over here. So we have created this workflow and when we will check the history of this workflow, here you can see that we have received the response. Let's check the history. So it's from Stripe, we have received all of this response. And when we will scroll down, we will see the details of the same customer, the same payment which we have made just now. So we have the test Pavli as the name. Here you can see the same name over here. And then here in response, you can see the same amount of 2000 rupees with the extra two zero from the last. And then in the filter response, when you will see, this filter response is showing us that the condition is false. This means because we have added a filter for this particular amount, this automation workflow is not continued further. So in this way, you can set up automation workflow or Stripe webhooks for some particular products inside Pavli Connect. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more such related content on automations and integrations. So this is it for today's video, guys. Thank you. Have a great day.